Hi, this is Mike. This is Genesis chapter 24, the second half, starting with verse 28. And the young woman ran and told her mother's household about these things. And Rebekah had a brother named Laban, and Laban ran out to the man by the spring. And it happened when he saw the nose ring and the bracelets on his sister's arms, and when he heard the words of Rebekah his sister, saying, Thus the man spoke to me. He came up to the man and looked. He was standing over the camels by the spring. And he said, Come in, blessed of Yahweh. Why should you stand outside when I have readied the house and a place for the camels? And the man came into the house and unharnessed the camels, and he gave bran and feed to the camels and water to bathe his feet and the feet of the men who were with him. And food was set before him. But he said, I will not eat until I have spoken my word. And he said, Speak. And he said, I am Abraham's servant. Yahweh has blessed my master abundantly, and he has grown great. He has given him sheep and cattle and silver and gold and male and female slaves and camels and donkeys. And Sarah, my master's wife, bore a son to my master after she had grown old, and he has given him all that he has. And my master made me swear, saying, you shall not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites in whose land I dwell, but to my father's house you shall go, and to my clan, and you shall take a wife for my son. And I said to my master, Perhaps the woman will not come after me. And he said to me, Yahweh, in whose presence I have walked, shall send his messenger with you, and he shall grant success to your journey, and you shall take a wife for my son from my clan and my father's house. Then you shall be clear of my oath. If you come to my clan and they refuse you, you shall be clear of my oath. And today I came to the spring, and I said, O Yahweh, God of my master Abraham, if you are going to grant success to the journey on which I come, here I am poised by the spring of water. And let it be that the young woman who comes out to draw water to whom I say, Let me drink a bit of water from your jug. And she says to me, Drink and for your camels too I shall draw water. She is the wife that Yahweh has marked for my master's son. I had barely finished speaking in my heart, and look, Rebekah was coming out, her jug on her shoulder, and she went down to the spring and drew water. And I said to her, Pray, let me drink. And she hurried and tipped down the jug that she carried and said, Drink, and your camels too I shall water. And the camels, too, she watered. And I asked her, saying, Whose daughter are you? And she said, The daughter of Bethuel, son of Nahor, whom Milcah bore him. And I put the ring in her nose and the bracelets on her arms, and I did obeisance and bowed to Yahweh and blessed Yahweh, God of my master Abraham, who guided me on the right way to take the daughter of my master's brother for his son. And so, if you are going to act with steadfast kindness toward my master, tell me. And if not, tell me, that I may turn elsewhere. And Laban and Bethuel answered and said, From Yahweh this thing has come. We can speak to you neither good nor evil. Here is Rebekah before you. Take her and go. And let her be wife to your master's son, as Yahweh has spoken. And it happened when Abraham's servant heard their words that he bowed to the ground to Yahweh. And the servant took out ornaments of silver and ornaments of gold and garments, and he gave them to Rebekah, and he gave presents to her brother and her mother. And they ate and drank, he and the men who were with him, and they spent the night and rose in the morning. And he said, Send me off that I may go to my master. And her brother and her mother said, Let the young woman stay with us ten days or so, then she may go. And he said to them, Do not hold me back when Yahweh has granted success to my journey. Send me off that I may go to my master. And they said, Let us call the young woman and ask for her answer. And they called Rebekah and said to her, Will you go with this man? And she said, I will. And they sent off Rebekah, their sister, and her nurse, and Abraham's servant and his men. And they blessed Rebekah and said to her, 
our sister become hence myriads teeming. May your seed take hold of the gate of its foes. And Rebecca rose with her young women, and they mounted the camels and went after the man. And the servant of Rebekah went off. And Isaac had come from the approach to Be'er Lahai Roi, as he was dwelling in the Negev region. And Isaac went out to stroll in the field toward evening. And he raised his eyes and saw, and look, camels were coming. And Rebekah raised her eyes and saw Isaac, and she alighted from the camel. And she said to the servant, Who is that man walking through the field toward us? And the servant said, He is my master. And she took her veil and covered her face. And the servant recounted to Isaac all the things he had done. And Isaac brought her into the tent of Sarah his mother and took Rebekah as wife. And he loved her. And Isaac was consoled after his mother's death. <clears throat> 